What's up? Coach Kira from Tinner Hill CrossFit. I'm here in my kitchen and I'm going to be making some ginger cashew stir fried pork from the Ambitious Kitchen website. All right, for ingredients, we got scallions, ginger, red onion, carrots, red bell pepper, broccoli, uh, some cashews, a little cashew butter. Of course, you could use peanut butter, and I'm using pork instead of chicken because I eat a lot of chicken. Sometimes I like to change it up. I like to do all the vegetable chopping first because it's my least favorite part of the process. If you have a bored small child, you should make them do this. Take a knife, cut up the vegetables. Quick note about the broccoli, I pre-steamed it in my rice cooker uh, because in my experience, raw broccoli, raw fresh broccoli takes a really long time to stir fry. I prefer to use frozen broccoli, but I can't find any in the stores right now. So if you're hoarding frozen broccoli, cut it out. Whenever possible, I prefer to buy things pre-sliced and pre-shredded. Uh, the Safeway that I went to did not have pre-shredded carrots last night, but ain't no shame in it. You can also buy pre-grated ginger, but it's not as good. And ginger's cheap, it's not that hard to grate. So I would just buy the bulk ginger. Just kind of slice off the outer edge. I like this thingy for grating ginger, and sometimes Parmesan cheese, if you like that stuff, which I do. And it collects on the back and then you scrape it off. This recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, so of course I'm gonna use like six cloves of garlic. That's what I do. You've probably seen this technique for peeling garlic. Crush it under the flat side of a knife. Makes it a lot easier to get the papery stuff off, but then you still have to cut off this little nubbin part. Onion! So I've got three pounds of pork loin here. Uh, pork is not as lean as chicken. It's about 16 grams of fat per pound. So I'm going for pieces that are not too big, not too small, just kind of bite size. This recipe calls for coconut oil. I don't like coconut oil. I'm gonna use the Marcus Ford method of olive oil management. You put in a little bit of oil and uh, wipe it off with a paper towel so you just a tiny amount of oil in the pan. And we've got this on medium high heat. All right, meat's in. Add a little bit of salt, not too much. I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna cook it until it's cooked. All right, the meat is pretty much cooked. I'm gonna take it out of the pan and make the sauce. All right, so for the sauce, I've got about half of the garlic that I minced, about half of the ginger, and I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of cashew butter and three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm also gonna put in some warm water to thin the sauce a little bit. The cashew butter in particular is kind of thick, so I'm gonna thin that down. Stir it up so it's the sauce. Time to cook all the vegetables and then add in the pork and the sauce. Alright, garlic's always in first. And we've chopped our white onion, white part of the onion, and the green part of the onion. So we're just going to put in the white part of the onion next. Throw the rest of that ginger in there. Oh, that smells. It's time for the onions. All right, peppers come through. Time for a carrot. Get in there, carrot. Broccoli in there. So, you can use any vegetables in here that you like. You can put green peas in here, green beans. You can put, I don't know, mushrooms. You can put like some water chestnuts, some little baby corn. You know, whatever you want. All right, time to get that pork in there. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all this pork in here, but I'm gonna see how it goes. All right, a little more than half seems about right. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right, time to get that 
sauce in there. Mm. Get in there, sauce. Get in there. Yes. All right, pork's been cooking with the vegetables and the sauce. It's pretty good. Plated it with some rice, and I'm gonna put some of these green onions on top for garnish. And of course, can't forget, some cashews. Oh yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um, so the deal is that if you make any meal, any healthy prepped meal and share a video with us, we will give you one point towards a free month of virtual membership with us, which comes with programming, virtual coaching, nutritional counseling, and lots of other good things. And also check out CrossFit.com. Go to the essentials at home section for more recipes and inspiration.